All right, joining me now on Inside TBT, head coach of the Aftershocks and maybe the most famous man in Wichita, Zach Bush and Connor Frankamp. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having us, man. Thank Appreciate you. it. Zach, I'll, I'll start with you. You know, every year it's kind of a given that this guy, Connor Frankamp, will be on the team, be hitting big shots. How great is it for you just to know, our, like, all right, Frank Camp's back. Now we go. Oh, it's, I mean, it, it makes us go. He's uh, that core centerpiece. Um, you know, he's, he's an electrifying player, the way he shoots the basketball, the fans love him. Um, he's that piece where when you have it, everything, you know, feels like it builds itself around and um, seems to kind of work. So it's always, you know, he's that first call. Connor, it seems like you guys are, you know, right there every year. You haven't yeah. quite gotten over the hump to be in the championship game, win that TBT championship. How do you feel going into this year? I feel really good. Um, I think we put put together a pretty good roster. Um, like you said, we've been we've been so close the last couple of years. Um, I didn't think we played super great last year as, as a whole. Um yeah, I think this year we have a great team put together, a lot of good guys. We have Jeremiah Martin, who I think is really going to help us out a lot. Um, I think that was a huge addition for us. So I'm excited to see how the guys all get together and uh, we all get together. Did you do a little Draymond, Kevin Durant with Jeremiah Martin last year after you guys played Beale Street Boys? Did you go up to him and say, hey, we're we're bringing you in next year? I actually didn't. I wish I would have, but it, it worked out okay. So, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> This question uh, obviously can be for both of you guys, but but Zach, we can start with you. We got to talk about the crowd. 7,200 last year, TBT's attendance record. We, you know, we celebrate it all the time, but how special is it for you to get to look up and see all those fans supporting you guys? Yeah, it's it's awesome. I think it's one of the things that makes the guys continue to want to come back. It's one thing to play, you know, in front of a crowd of, you know, 1,000 or 2,000 people, but um, you know, when it's six, 7,000 people, it's not quite what it was when we were in school. Um, you know, we were part of that, you know, really good generation of Wichita State basketball. And it was 10,500 sellout almost every night, but it's pretty darn close to it. And uh, to replicate that feeling, I think, after you've left school is just something that's pretty unique. Uh, it's it's so much fun. You can't help but smile when you talk about it. And it just gives you that nostalgic feeling when you get out there with your guys. It's a high that you continuously, you know, you want to keep playing games. So every time uh, that we're down in a game, that's kind of my first thought is, uh, God, like we got to find a way to come back so we can, you know, keep this thing going. It looks like uh, Connor's frozen. So I'll keep going with you, Zach. But, yeah. you know, last year it almost felt more electric because you guys were down and able to come back. Is that a feeling you're going to try and recreate this year, or are you going to try <laughs> and uh, get out to a little bit of better starts? I absolutely hate that feeling personally. We, you know, we did uh, want to say it was our second round game last year against Beale Street was the same night that we were doing the final four 10 year anniversary reunion. And the guys were getting recognized at halftime and there was a big, you know, party afterwards. And all that was going through my head when we we're doing that is, like, oh, my God, everybody's going to be in a bad mood. This is going to suck. So I would prefer to never be down in another game again. No, it makes for an awesome ending. Um, we seem to find a way to come back over and over again. Um, but I would prefer to be on the other side of that. I'm kind of tired of, of playing from behind. Would love to just shoot the ball well and get out to a great start and play, uh, play from ahead. Connor, I'll kick it over to you, those Wichita fans, man. They're, yeah, they're amazing. Like Zach said, um, it seems like we play better when we get down and, and then the crowd gets into it. But it's not it's not a very good recipe for us to want to win the TBT, obviously, especially with how good the teams are. And especially this year, the team seem like everybody's loading up. So we hope that that's not the case where we get down and kind of have to lean on the crowd. I think it'd probably be easier on the crowd, too, if we're up and they don't get stressed and everything as well, just like us. So um, but it's it's amazing to have that that support for us. Um, I think it helps us, especially down the stretch. And I know all of us feel feel super lucky to be able to play in front of that crowd, especially in, in a TBT setting. Yeah, last year, you know, the region was set up that there would have been a quarterfinal between you guys and Mass Street, the Kansas team. But they ultimately lost to Hartfire, who ended up, you know, beating you guys and going on to win the whole thing. Now it would actually happen in the regional final instead of the quarterfinal. So it could happen – earlier connor you specifically having you know played a part in both 
programs. Is that a matchup that you would look forward to? Definitely. Um, I know a lot of those guys, you know, I still have a, a pretty good relationship with, with a lot of them actually, but um, I think it'd be awesome for the fans and just the people of Kansas to see, you know, Wichita State and Kansas play. It's only happened, you know, happened in 2000. I forget what year that was in, in the tournament, but um, it'd kind of be cool to throw that back and have that matchup come. I think everybody would be super excited about it. And Zach, over to you. There's some big name teams in the regional. You got the K-State alumni, Colorado alumni, Colorado State alumni, and then two teams that have been around TBT for a while in the Cheaters and, and Florida TNT. So really, no matter who you guys play, along the way you're either going to play an alumni team a veteran team or in some cases both when you look at a team like you know team colorado when you're scouting obviously you don't want to look ahead too much but which of the teams in the region are really jumping out to you that's the hard part about this year in, in years past you know the, the obviously the politically correct answer is oh, every team you know but um, in years past, you kind of knew like these three, four teams, but this year it seems like every team in this is dangerous. I think the Colorado State team looks super talented. Colorado team is going to be a lot of fun with Roberson. Um, obviously, K State with Jacob Pullen, they're electric. They're going to bring fans, and then that KU group. So you know, I am going to give the politically correct answer. Every team in this um, wouldn't say we overlook anybody, and then you know we don't have too fond of memories. I think the second time we ever played in this, um, got to a quarterfinal out in Dayton and um, played like the noon game uh, against Florida TNT. And I think uh, that was not a whole lot of fun. They uh, they had a great team that year, had Dominique Jones. I don't think they have him this year, thank God. But now we have a ton of respect for those guys. Um, you know, the you know the Drew League squad, they're always solid. Seemed like they put together good rosters and talented players. So go and we definitely don't take uh, anybody lightly. Yeah, across TBT last year, it kind of felt like every second round matchup was any team could advance past the round of 32 and win. But now it kind of seems like everything is set up for the crazy, crazy regional finals. But Wichita specifically, as you just alluded to, every slot in that bracket is filled with a good team. So it's definitely going to be exciting. Before I get you guys out of here, Connor, got to finish with this. So I'm taking credit. I coined the nickname wheat mom before you i think it was uh two or two or three years ago i put it on twitter and then all of a sudden you were asked on the broadcast what do you think of the nickname so i need to ask you and you could be brutally honest what do you think of the wheat mamba nickname i honestly do not mind it um i think it's pretty he clever by you to come up don't with, let him lie to, to you. come he up with that <laughs> I, I'll give you all the all the credit in the world. I think it's I think it's super. Um, it sticks well, obviously, with with the shockers and everything. So I like it, and you can take and all the credit. He's a Kobe <laughs> guy. Don't he's he's downplaying it. He's a Kobe guy. He loves it. He's all in on the wheat mamba. I like all it. Right. I like it. That's good to hear. I guess this is for either of you. Final message to the fans, because despite what you've done in the past, this year you'll need to outsell the the Houston regional in round one to host a potential quarterfinal and it's really not just for you guys you know it'd be you know mass street would be looking to do the same purple or purple rain as well so final message to the fans in in wichita zach we'll start with you uh show up like you always have that that first round game you know in, in the past the fans slowly round by round it picks up we need you from the jump this year um and then on top of that the louisville re we got some competition now it's kind of been us by ourselves you know, Dayton's had some good crowds. If you look at that attendance record board, it's been a lot of us, but Louisville's coming in strong. Um, we're not trying to give up that all-time record. So this is a call to all Shocker fans, all KU fans, all uh, purple and uh, black or purple rain fans, I should say, show up. Um, you know, the teams need your support. Connor, over to you. Anything yeah. else you want to add? Yeah. Exactly what Zach said. Uh, we need to keep that streak going. Uh, we've well, we hear our name a lot on that on that list you put out. So we got to keep that going. Uh, we have a great team this year. Um, I think it'll be really fun to watch. And um, we'll, we'll keep you guys excited for sure. Well, good luck, guys. Connor, hit him straight. Zach, hang for, uh, hang for a second.